What we have, Mr. Sentamu, is a constitution that essentially says um, that the rights of all are respected. And we protect some of the most vulnerable, but we also protect the LGBTIQ community. It's difficult to speak to a leader of Uganda and not raise that. Because to much of the world, Uganda is looked at as the country that has said, we will throw you in prison for being gay. Um, where do you position yourself in that discussion? There comes the LGBT question again. I wish um, all other rights got the same attention as given to that. However, I'll also mention that uh, coming from Uganda and living in Uganda, I hesitate to give so much comment on that because there's a law now. Which law, uh, besides making it illegal, uh, goes for anybody um, that is perceived, you know, so uh, that, that is perceived to be kind or whatever. So it's important to also mention for me that in Uganda, the LGBT question is not only a social or moral question, but it's also a political issue effectively used by General Museveni's regime. So you will understand if I don't comment further on that issue. Yeah. You say that it's, it, it, and just we don't necessarily need to go into it if you can't go into it, but you say that it's a, yeah. a political tool. Yeah. How has it been used? Well, um, it was first brought up in 2014 by the regime, and it's brought up again, and it's what General Museveni throws up again, throws around again. If he's not throwing out the foreign agent question, claiming that, oh, the opposition in Uganda is sponsored by foreigners. They say, oh, the opposition in Uganda is sponsored by LGBT, ETC, ETC. Mm. So they hope to frame a law and then find a way of squeezing its opponents in that law. I have, however, mentioned constantly mm. that we are family believers in human rights for all Ugandans from all walks of life. Mm. Um, 